I think you should just calm down. Hi, welcome to Shitty Reviews. We had some drinks tonight and decided to watch the George Romero classic, Night of the Living Dead. In color. Now, I've seen Night of the Living Dead probably 50 plus times. I've never actually watched it in color, so it was different. It wasn't bad. So, here we go. Barbara and Johnny are uh, taking a trip out to the graveyard. They're going to go lay a wreath on their father's grave, but mother couldn't make it. And this is where the shit goes down. Right out the gate. It's going to be bad. You got the stumbling zombie walking up to Barbara and Johnny. And I think I've heard Ramiro talk how zombies aren't supposed to be fast and shit because their bones are supposed to have like rigor mortis set in and all this other stuff. He was moving pretty quick for being a, you know, a slow walking zombie. I mean, he was slow, but it wasn't uh, 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 stiff. They're coming to get you, Barbara. And he does. Johnny takes a hit right away. I mean, she leaves him awfully quick. And I was like, it wasn't even really that bad of a headshot. But I mean, I suppose if you're knocked out. But he definitely wasn't dead and she left his ass. Barbara can't drive the car. Well, she's not good at it anyways. She fucking hits that tree. And she should have easily been able to steer away from it. And the zombie's chasing her. So she runs to the nearest house. Hops in that bad boy. And uh, then we meet Ben. Ben seems to be the only guy that, you know, is dealing in reason here. Or at least, like, fucking a little bit smart about the situation. Granted, I think he's heard a little bit more about it. But Barbara's freaking useless. Some wild things when Barbara first meets Ben. The oh hot in here thing, that's kind of almost like a dreamy. She's kind of like, woo, I'm flustered. It's hot in here. Hot. <laughs> and then, then he smacks her. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I do not condone hitting women. But Ben, <laughs> Ben's got to do something. So they start boarding up the place, and uh, apparently there's a group down in the basement that they don't know about. They finally make an appearance, and let me tell you, Mr. Cooper is a fucking dick right out the gate. Mr. Cooper's down there. He's with his wife, Helen, and their daughter, Karen. And then you got Tom and Judy. They're hanging out. Tom and Mr. Cooper come up first, and then you kind of meet the other people later on. But Mr. Cooper is just adamant that it's going to be safer down in the cellar, which, again, Ben's the only person that's like fucking idiot. If you go down in the fucking cellar, you got nowhere to go after that. At least if you stay upstairs, board the place up, get everything, you know, barricaded in, then you can at least make a run for it or do something. I don't know. Maybe even running upstairs would have been better at this point. The zombies are done pretty good. Um, since it is in color, when Barbara first walks in there and she sees that corpse at the top of the stairs, I thought that actually looked creepier. I thought it was better. And then there's that blood dripping scene and I thought that was better too. I mean, I've seen it, like I said, I've seen it so many times in black and white that it really didn't matter. But... The, the color definitely kind of added to it. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't the worst thing I've seen. I, th I didn't know whether I was going to like it or not, but turns out it wasn't that bad. And yeah, that, that skull was a lot creepier. Where do we even go from here? It just gets bad. And I know every reviewer has done this movie and they're going to talk about the political commentary. Well, you're not going to get that from me. I've had too many drinks and don't really care. Just wanted to watch a good movie and review it. So they finally, they get the radio going, they get the TV going, and then you learn about the Venus probe. And from what I heard, they're possibly doing a prequel 
or at least George Romero wanted to do a prequel and they were going to have it deal with that Venus probe and it, it, it crashes or explodes or whatever. You kind of, they briefly talk about it or it's, it's on the TV. You got that army general and the doctors talking about it, which I think would be pretty fucking badass if you ask me. It'd be, it'd be good. And I'm curious to see it. I mean, what, 50, 60, 70, 80 years later, they finally do a prequel. That'd be great. So, and I like the idea of the Venus probe. That's good. I noticed that they didn't call them zombies. They call them ghouls. They call them undead or walking dead or something. But I do, I do specifically remember ghouls, and I thought that was cool. So technically, Ramiro didn't even start the zombie films. He started ghoul films. The ghouls start adding up, and it's just going to get worse. They decide to, uh, what, get the truck going, and they get the keys to the gas. Uh, apparently, back in the day, you just had gas stations at your house, or at least on a farm. That's, that goes horribly wrong. Tom and Ben decide to go get gas in the truck, and they're going to make their escape. Judy fucks it up. She runs outside. Fucking gets in the truck, and then they finally get the gas going. And I, if they didn't even need the fucking key in the first place, because Ben ends up shooting the lock off, gas goes everywhere. They fucking start the truck on fire. That fucking thing blows up. Dumb, 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 dumb. I did notice that a lot of early horror tropes probably started from this movie. You kind of get that. Fucking, fucking Ben ends up running back to the house. Mr. Cooper, dick. What a dick. So he locks the door and he's not going to let Ben in. It's a door. Ben just kicks the damn thing open. Then he ends up whooping Mr. Cooper's ass. That was pretty good. He got his, uh, he got his Cummins. I kind of found it funny how when Barbara was telling Ben her version of when they first meet the zombie at the graveyard, she tells it completely wrong and just lies for no reason just just lying barbara is a liar and i i went up to this man and i was going to apologize why don't you just keep calm and i looked up and i said good evening and he grabbed me the whole time they don't realize that their daughter downstairs karen Guess what? She got bit by one. They don't really get too into like that biting transforms you at that time, but the ghouls start breaking into the house. Mr. Cooper, just the dick that he is, all he wants to do is get the gun so he can take control. How'd that work for you, Mr. Cooper? Not that, Mr. Cooper. Him and Ben duke it out, and that does not go well. He already got his ass kicked once by Ben, so let's try it again, right? He gets that gun from him. Fuck. Boom. Done. Shoots him. I don't really know why he shot him, but... I mean, he was probably just going to be more trouble than good, I guess, at this point. Mr. Cooper stumbles downstairs to try and get to his daughter and dies. Then his wife goes down there and... She's eating them. So, she's turned. She's a ghoul now. What I don't get is, I mean, she kills her mom. I mean, I guess I get that. But she doesn't really, like, eat, eat any of them. And the way that the ghouls or the zombies seem to kind of just be ripping people apart. Like, oh, they just need it. They just need that living meat or dead meat. But, yeah, they're barely even touched when Ben actually makes his way down there after everybody's dead. And everybody dies. Everybody. Everybody's dead. So finally, the cops show up and they start killing all the zombies in the fields. Ben wakes up downstairs, thinks he's going to make his way up. And at this point, I don't know why he wouldn't just be screaming like, Hey, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm not one of them. Nope, he comes walking up and apparently Hillbilly Boy is the best fucking shot in town because he shoots him like through a window right in the head from, I don't know, 20, 50 yards with some fucking look like a one-shot gun. You know, Sheriff McKellen's kind of an asshole, too. I'm not even gonna lie. 
But yeah, it does not end well for Ben either. Ben ends up dying. And like, that's probably the uh, social commentary that everybody likes to talk about. And I mean, it is. It reminds me of an episode of Twilight Zone too. There's a lot of things that it reminds me of. Yeah, I can't say anything bad about it. It's a classic. I love almost all the Living Dead movies. Or Night of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead, so forth. They are good. So, it was a good night of drinking. And I'm happy that I watched the movie. I'm happy that I watched it in color. It was a nice little change of pace. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, tell me some of your classic stories about watching Night of the Living Dead. And if you've seen the color version, give us a sub, give us a like. We need that shit. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Coming to get you, Barbara. There's uh, there's some wild things when she first meet or when yeah when Barbara feet for uh, there's some wild things when Barbara feet. Uh.